Throughout time, the horse has represented a symbol of courage, grace and speed, symbolising fire and sky. It has accompanied humans in wars, but also assisted in transportation in times of peace. That is why the horse represents a very special symbol in the cultures of the world. In this video, we focus our attention on a deity from Celtic culture, but who was also revered by the ancient Romans. Her name is Epona, and she is often depicted as a goddess of horses and fertility, and her worship was widespread throughout Western Europe. The name Epona comes from the Gaulish word epos, meaning horse, and her association with this noble animal is central to her mythology. The earliest depictions of Epona date back to the second century, although it is likely that she was worshipped by the Celts long before this time. In Roman times, Epona was adopted into the Roman pantheon as a goddess of fertility and patroness of horses. She was worshipped by both soldiers and civilians, and her influence spread throughout the empire. Epona was often depicted as a beautiful young woman, riding a horse or standing with horses. Her hair is typically long and flowing, and she wears a wreath of flowers on her head. In some depictions, she is shown holding an abundance horn, or a basket of fruit, which symbolises abundance and fertility. Her association with horses is often represented by the presence of a mare or foal, or by images of horses being led by her. As a goddess of fertility, Epona was often associated with childbirth and the nurturing of children. Women would often invoke her during pregnancy or childbirth, seeking her protection and blessings. In some parts of Europe, Epona was believed to be the patroness of midwives. Epona was also a goddess of the underworld, and her association with horses was often linked to the journey of the soul after death. In Celtic mythology, the horse was seen as a powerful animal that could transport the soul from one world to another. It is likely that Epona's association with horses was linked to this idea of the horse as a guide to the afterlife. The worship of Epona was widespread throughout Western Europe, and her influence can be seen in many different cultures. In Ireland, for example, Epona was known as Maka, a goddess of horses and war. In Wales, Epona was associated with Rhiannon, a goddess of fertility and the hunt. And in France, Epona was worshipped as a protector of travellers and merchants. The cult of Epona declined in the centuries following the fall of the Roman Empire, but her influence can still be seen in modern times. In many parts of Europe, horses are still an important part of the culture, and there are still festivals and rituals that celebrate the horse as a sacred animal. Today, Epona is often invoked by those who work with horses, or who have a special affinity for these magnificent creatures. She is seen as a protector and guide, and her influence can be felt in the strong bond that many people have with their horses. One of the most striking features of Epona's mythology is the way in which she is closely associated with horses as the goddess of the equine world. In Celtic and Roman times, horses were seen as both practical animals for transportation and agriculture, but also as symbols of strength, beauty and freedom. The horse was a powerful symbol of nobility and status, and was often associated with the gods and goddesses of the time. Epona's role as the patroness of horses reflects the central importance of these animals in the cultures of the time. Epona's status as a fertility goddess is also significant. Fertility was a crucial concern in ancient times as agriculture and animal husbandry were key sources of survival for many communities. The idea of a powerful goddess who could ensure fertility and abundance was therefore important, and Epona was seen as a goddess who could bring prosperity and growth to the land. Her association with horses also suggests a link between fertility and strength, as the horse was seen as a symbol of both. In conclusion, Epona is a goddess of horses and fertility who played a central role in the mythology and culture of ancient Celtic and Roman societies. Her association with horses, fertility, the underworld and midwifery underscores her importance as a guide and protector, and her influence can still be seen in many modern contexts. Epona's role as a patroness of horses and protector of women and children has made her an enduring symbol of strength and beauty in the equine world, and her mythology remains a rich and fascinating aspect of ancient history and culture. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about the fascinating world of mythology, subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you more videos about the powerful deities of different cultures, exploring their stories and symbolism, and revealing the secrets of their divine powers. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian.